Hopkins, I work at Serenian House. Uh, I'm the Pathways Program Coordinator, which is a, a psychoeducation program out at Wooloo Prison, and uh, I'll also do counselling here at Serenian. My name is Vaughan Palmer, uh, I work for Serenian House as a counsellor and also as a Pathways Facilitator, which is run out at uh, Wooloo Prison. Serenian House is a not-for-profit alcohol and other drug organisation, been around for about 30 years. Um, we offer, it primarily, primarily started um, as the Drug Residential Rehabilitation Centre, which operates under a therapeutic community model. Um, uh, we also have outpatient services, um, which offer counselling, outpatient counselling. We have a really good uh, couples, couples and family counsellor. Um, we also offer groups here. Um, we also have the DATS program, which is a drug and alcohol through care service, which offers counselling to prisoners uh, pre-parole and also while they're in their parole period out in the community. We also obviously have the Pathways program, which I coordinate, which is a group psychoeducation program. Um, we also, Serenian House in more recent years has also extended out to North Metro Community Drug Service Team, um, which is kind of like an integrated service with Next Step, um, where we also have a doctor and a nurse which offer services, um, and that all falls under Serenian House as well. So it's extended quite, quite a lot in the last sort of few years. I guess um, I studied uh, psychology at university and did a supporting major in addiction studies um, and I always found the addiction studies side of my studies um, the most interesting um, and yeah, from, a, from a younger age I guess I was always curious about uh, the power of the mind, mind over matter and I wanted to explore that um, given that we spend you know 50% of our life um, working I wanted to make sure that it was something that I was interested in. Um, I was lucky enough to get a job opportunity with Serenian House uh, as a drug and alcohol counsellor after I finished my studies. I guess for me personally what I pro primarily would like to achieve is to get my clients living their life um, in a manner that they value. Um, so you know Obviously that would involve, you know, maybe moving towards or achieving some of their goals. Um, but, you know, whether or not, as far as drug use is concerned, you know, that might be complete abstinence, if that's the place that, they're, that they want to get to, or it might be more of a harm minimization approach where they want to get to some reduced use. Really, it's up to the client. Um, but yeah, so pretty much would be really focusing on what it is that the client wants to get out of the counselling um, without you know, having any sort of prescribed idea myself what the client should do. It's really up to the client to sort of set their own goals and to direct their own counselling while, while I would help them. Um, I guess there's never ending challenges. Um, every client is different so they're going to present with different challenges. Um, I guess working at a prison which is one of my main roles um, we come into contact with a lot of resistant clients so that's always a challenge at the beginning until you build up a bit of trust and rapport with them. Um, beyond that that initial um, uncertainty with a client I guess you're dealing with you know pretty heavy issues with a lot of clients so that can be challenging but luckily, luckily enough, here at Serene House, we have pretty good uh, support for our staff. So, you know, if things are getting us down or anything like that, we make time to talk about that and make sure that we've got appropriate support for that. Um, beyond those sort of challenges, I guess, dealing with angry clients is always a challenge. Um, you know, there's, there's often a lot of confrontation, whether that's in individual counselling or in group counselling. So. Yeah. The 
success stories of clients, um, you know, and I guess, you know, I've had one or two clients um, come back into the office here just, just to say hello, um, you know, maybe a few months after I stopped seeing them and they're still clean um, and, you know, living their life successfully and, and quite happy and where they're going and stuff and they're sort of communicating that back back to me, which is like really rewarding. Uh, also just, you know, running the prison program, seeing seeing the growth of some of the, the guys in the program, uh, particularly maybe when they're a bit sort of closed off at the start of the program and by the end of the program, they're quite open and they're complimenting other members and giving people feedback on their strengths and things like that and seeing that that shift and that change in, in guys can be really, really rewarding. First of all, I hope that the person is interested in the field. Um, I think that's paramount. Um, beyond that, I think it's a, a very supportive field. So the staff that we work with, I can speak for Serenian House only, but the staff we work with are, are very good, very friendly, um, very supportive, um, very good qualifications, so it's just a really no nice organisation to work for um, and I guess also because you see those changes that clients get to make, so it's a rewarding job, um, you get to see people make some positive changes in their lives and um, you know, improve their lives and it's good to see that.